everyone. Today I'm going to show you some ideas for making baby toddler safe magnet activities. Here we go. So the first idea I'm going to show you is making a magnet sensory bottle. So I've got a plain sided plastic bottle with a lid on it and I've put at the bottom a whole handful of paper clips. Now that in itself is an interesting activity that you can explore with children. Just the idea of gravity and the noise element of it. So you tip it over, makes noise, and everything drops to the bottom. But the magic obviously happens when you attach a magnet. So you can talk about and explore how you can have control now over those paper clips because you can lift them up and let them drop. Really fascinating for small, small people. And I would add up the light really, it's quite rewarding to watch. Now this one I've added some water and stained it blue, just for a different effect. And maybe we could have a go at trying to pull those paper clips out of the water. So they're lifting the paper clips up. We're seeing how they look when we shake them as well. So slight variation on this one. This one is cut up bits of uh, pipe cleaner and again you can talk to the children about how the magnet makes them stick and you can lift them all the way up look and then let go you can play about obviously with different objects that are metallic in some way and put them inside the bottle adding water adding glitter maybe to make your magnet sensory bottle Okay, so this one is a really simple, easy and quick way of getting children to explore magnets safely um, and also to get them to learn about different materials because in this bowl I've got lots of different objects that are made from different materials. So some are metallic, cookie cutters, those are ideal spoons, I've got some plastic materials, wooden, natural, so just have a little look around the home, think about age appropriate objects and uh, put a put a selection of them together and then allow your child just to explore so see which ones they can pick up Ooh, lifting up several there and then maybe if they're old enough they could put them into piles as well but just allowing any age child to explore and to find out which materials they can stick with their myth magnet and which ones don't so really quick easy learning activity now lastly, I thought I'd show you something that takes a little bit more time and effort to set up, but I think well worth it. So with this one, it's a fishing game and I have sealed some very small magnets that you can get in craft and haberdashery type shops. Um, there is obviously a, a big choking hazard with these and you do need to supervise children with this activity. But what I've done is sealed that small magnet very, very securely inside this fish shape. So I got two pieces of felt and then sewn really, really securely round and round to make sure that magnet stays in place. So it's in there. And then I've made lots and lots of those um, at different sizes. So this one here is out of a bit of off cut of fabric and I've put some crinkly material inside and a magnet as well. So depending on your sewing skills, you can really go to town with this. And I've also made a fishing rod. So there's a magnet at the end, again, sealed in some more felt um, and attached by a piece of string onto a stick. This is another off cut of fabric that I've found, some sparkly watery material, and the game is now set up. So you can go fishing. Let's see if I can catch one. So a bit of hand-eye coordination skills necessary for this activity. Oh, I've got one fish. And let's see if I can get to the next one, the last fish. Yay, I've got him. Bye-bye.